Hello everyone, welcome back to ABL LMS. Hope all of you are doing great. Okay, so before I start the new sessions, uh, let's do a quick revision. In the last sessions, we have seen how we can draw square pattern with the help of nested for loop, right? So today I'm going to start a very, very important topic and you can also say this is also one of the most important topic of all programming languages that is conditional structures right okay that is if a statement if a statement if a statement right so basically conditional what is conditional statement right first let's understand basically see whenever if you want to apply some decisions some conditions inside your code then in that case you can use this conditional statements right okay so there are different kind of statements that you can pass that is if a statement okay if a statement else if a statement right so first let's just start with the if statement right now this is the uh, uh, let's understand the flow diagram of this if statement right let's suppose if you have passed some condition if this condition is true right then the compiler will come inside the if statement if uh, if and then it will execute a certain block of code right if the condition is true right so let's just start with the example you can see first let's understand the syntax so the syntax of if statement first you need to write down the keyword if then there will be a <coughs> expressions or conditions if this condition is true or if this condition is satisfied right the compiler will come inside this and execute a block of code or certain statements right let's understand with the example so let's jump to the software part <coughs> so here first let's suppose here i'm taking a variable a equal to here i'm storing some value let's suppose 100 okay. i'll take if because if a statement you need to start with the keyword if then you have to pass down the condition let's suppose here i'm passing condition if a is greater than let's suppose 250 this is my conditions right and then you need to put all in at the end and then if i enter you know this is the indentation so why there is a need to leave the indentations because if you start from here then the compiler will understand uh, this is uh, these are the same block of code right so to uh, like to make it like this statement is the part of this if you need to leave some for space that is the indentations right and here let's suppose if i write print you can pass any statement here i want to uh, pass false right let's see if i run this one you can see in the output nothing is printed why because this condition is not true the value of a is 100 so 100 is not greater than 250 so it this uh, your control will not come to here and does not execute anything inside this uh, if statement right but let's suppose if i make this a is less than 250 now you can see the value of a is 100 so 100 is less than 250 this condition is true now your compiler will come here and execute this statement let's see if i run this one in the output you can see false is printed right so i hope all of you uh, understand about the if statement but what about let's suppose here you can see if the condition is true then only some statement is executed or some work will done but what if i want to print the false statement as well what if i want like if this condition is not true come to here and execute some other part right in that case we'll use if else statement right so let's understand if else statement right so <clears throat> this is the first let's understand about the uh, flow diagram of this if else right so you can see if certain condition is true your compiler will come here and execute this the block of if if a statement right but if this condition is false again it will come to else part and execute the block of else right okay let's see the syntax uh, first first we need to take the keyword if then start with the condition right let's create a variable let's suppose here i am taking a equal to let's suppose 23 right now here I will write if then I will write some condition a is greater than 100. If this condition is satisfied, then here I want to print. Then come to the else part, right? And then here I will write print. Let's suppose true. This is just uh, to check the value. You can print an anything, right? Now. If this condition is true, your, compi your compiler will come here and execute this statement. But if this condition is not true, it will come to else part and execute the block of else statement. Let's see if I run this one. In the output, you can see it's, it is printed true. Why? 
because a the value of a is 23 23 is not greater than 100 so this condition is not true so it will come to the else part and execute this uh, the block of s that is true right so i hope all of you understand about how we can use if else statement right now let's suppose if you want to pass more than one conditions right if you want to pass more than one conditions then you can use else if statement let's see how we can write the code how we what is the syntax to write the code for else, else if statement right So here I'll write a equal to let's suppose I'm doing it. I'll write a code to check either a number is positive number, negative number, or neither positive nor negative. So first I'll take if and then I'll pass some conditions. Let's suppose how to check if any number is positive number, if any number which is greater than zero is the positive number. So here I'll take a is greater than zero. If this condition is true, then I want to print positive number. And then here I'll take one more. I want to pass one more condition, so I'll use else if statement. And here you can pass one more condition. So if a is less than zero, right? Then I want to print the number is negative number because you know any number which is greater than which is less than zero is the negative number. And then in the else, suppose if I want to pass one more condition, if a is equal to zero, so all of you know if any number equal to zero. It's neither positive nor negative. So here I'll write neither positive nor negative. Right? Let's execute this. And you can see in the output positive number. Let's suppose if I pass here minus four. If I run, you'll get negative number. Let's suppose if I pass zero. Again, I run this one. You'll get the output neither positive nor negative. Right. So I hope all of you understand about the conditional statement. Right. So today we have covered three statements: if a statement, if else a statement, and else if a statement. Right. So in the upcoming classes, we'll see how we'll see how we can use these statements for some pass on some conditions in our process. Right. So this is all about this class. Thank you everyone. I'll see you in the next class. Bye.